everyone so today i'm going to be showing you what i got for my 20th birthday so it was a bit different this year because as you guessed i spent it in lockdown i was going to vlog the day but then at the end of the day i realized all i filmed was some food clips and some games because that's pretty much all we did we had um i had an indoors barbecue with my mum dad and sister i say indoors because it rains so we had to do all the food in the oven um i did a quiz with my family on zoom and yeah we basically play games until late and that was my birthday and i really enjoyed it but it wasn't worth a vlog because i completely forgot to speak to the camera anyway so i just thought to insert it here I got given um first of all thank you to like all my friends and family that um wished me a happy birthday i got a lot more than i expected so thank you very much to that also thank you to everyone who got me cards i had some really really lovely cards got a homemade one as well by my cousins let's just quickly flip through them because i really like them and do you know what cards don't get enough appreciation by the younger people it's my little maid one so there we go got some really lovely cards as well Thank you to everyone. Let's keep them going. And there we go. Some lovely cards. And from all of my family, I got money. So thank you so much for that. I'm definitely in some need of cash at the moment. And then I also got some college treats from one of my aunties and uncles as well. So I'll go with what my sister got me now. I saved my sister's card for now. <sighs> purely because you're, you're not going to get the joke. But there's an inside joke here. So it's an Austin Powers card stuck in it is some spoons which are handmade and they say oh, I them. hide the spoon so the reason why these two things we went on a holiday to spain how when was it like 2010 maybe so 10 years ago maybe a bit before that something around that time and it was in a holiday villa and they had Austin Powers. So we watched Austin Powers. And then we also um, hid spoons like round the, um, it was like a pool complex. And yeah, we did a treasure hunt with that. And um, when lockdown started, it was um, really nice weather. We actually did a treasure hunt in the garden with spoons. So yeah, unless you were on that holiday with me, you're not going to get the joke. And you probably think it's really weird. But I really like the present because it really made me laugh. So yeah, that's why them two things are connected. Next you got me some white Maltese truffles, which they are from Christmas, but these were my absolute favourite chocolates. And she managed to find some. Um, they do need to be eaten very soon. But that is fine, because I will eat them very soon. Um, so basically, yeah, there's a story behind this. So white Maltesers were stopped being released years and years ago. And they were my favourite chocolates, and they just discontinued them for some reason. But they brought out these truffles this Christmas. Um... And I absolutely love them. I've then recently become obsessed with Once Upon a Time, which if you haven't watched, it's on Netflix and it's basically like if fairy tales and Disney characters all got thrown together, all were related and got thrown into the real world basically. And I absolutely love it. I'm re-watching it. That was seven seasons. Rewatching it from the beginning. So one of the things that my sister got me was related to that. And it's a Once Upon a Time hoodie. It's really, really nice because the thing with merch is I will only tend to wear merch, well, outside the house if it's subtle. And this is just, well, the logo of it. And it's really, really lovely. This lovely grey hoodie and it is so soft inside. Definitely going to get use out of that because it's absolutely freezing. It's gone back to freezing cold weather. Next, um, if you don't follow my TikTok or you don't know me, you won't know that I'm absolutely obsessed with musicals. And one of my recentest musicals that I've become absolutely obsessed with is Six the Musical. I was meant to be seeing that um, in three days' time. Um, but obviously it's been cancelled now, but it's been rescheduled. She got me this like uh, makeup bag, wash bag, you can use it for anything, tech bag, just a good bag to travel with. And it's got like loads of six quotes on it from all the songs and stuff um, and got loads of imagery to do with that. So I really love that. And then inside it, also got a face mask from the body shop, a vitamin E one. And I could definitely do with some hydration on my face because my face has been very dry recently if you know me you know i love harry potter um so i got these we played them last night actually on my birthday harry potter um what we don't know why it's called what because it is basically uno but it is official like merchandise but 
don't know the difference between what and Uno, but it's basically Uno. So now with what my dad got me. So my mum bought me the majority of presents. Obviously they're both from my mum and dad, but as most dads, they never have a clue what they buy. So my dad also buys me some stuff on the side that he knows that he's bought. So it's in this lovely massive bag and it's really heavy. And basically it was a set of loads of pre-made cocktails and like liqueurs and stuff. So I've recently started to enjoy alcohol a bit more. I never really started drinking alcohol too a few months ago and considering I'm 20 that's quite a long way down the line um I just used to have cider before that but yeah I'm really loving like cocktails and stuff so I drank one yesterday which is a passion fruit martini which is really nice and matches with my top right now I'm drinking a Malibu pina colada we've also got so let's quickly go through these spiced rum and cola Italian spritz Espresso martini, which is something I've always wanted to try actually. Another Malibu, but a pineapple one. Um, Bacardi mojito. Uh, Pims. And a Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey with cola, if that's what it is. As you can tell, I've actually not drank loads of different types of alcohol, so this is a really good way for me to try loads of new ones. Most of them I haven't tried also got some of these li little liqueurs so this is slow gin so you can like mix your own um cognac <laughs> um spiced rum scotch whiskey and then a blackberry i think it is black black raspberry liqueur so yeah that's all of them oh and i also got a box of after eight here they are also a box of after eight so yeah i can now get experimenting with loads of different types of alcohol i know a lot of younger people will be watching this so i'm just saying i'm not promoting alcohol underage only if you are as of age 18. let's go on with what my mum got me now well mum and dad but you know what i mean we'll start off with the other bottle i've got actually mm. so yes yeah, some more alcohol like i said i've never really got alcohol for my birthday before until these years and i do only drink this makes me seem like I drink loads, but if you know me, you know I really don't. I just drink occasionally. And so I got this Volera, I don't know, Volador, Volera, I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway, it's a strawberry liqueur, which is to go with a strawberry daiquiri set, if I can find it. And I have tried strawberry daiquiri before, and I do really like that. So here we go, which is to go with this. So this little box comes with... Um, let's say it comes with glasses, straws, and then just other stuff. Oh, here we go glasses, umbrellas, straws, flamingo stuff, and coats. So, just a nice little cute set. We'll get the other alcohol presents finished, and then the other one I've got is this Manhattan cocktail set, which has got a cocktail shaker and then other random stuff to go with it. It's got like a shot measure and stuff because I have just been oh, mixing them with a glass and stuff so it's nice to have it kind of done professionally and then I've got all the little side things to mix it with. Next we'll go with all my Once Upon a Time stuff. So the really annoying thing about Once Upon a Time is obviously it came out in 2011 I think um, and I only started watching it in 2019. I only discovered it in 2019 um, and it means that like there's barely any merch left and the merch that is left is in America and you either can't ship it over here or it's an absolute fortune. So I asked for stuff that I could find on Amazon and were a bit cheaper. Um, the first thing which I absolutely love is a Pop Funko. Uh, which I've never had before actually and it's Hook with Ex Excalibur um, Hook is my absolute favourite character in Once Upon a Time um, and a lot of these you can't collect like I think the Regina, the Emma, the Bumple Silk Skin um, Belle, Zelina, oh no I think Belle's a bit cheaper Snow, all of them are really really expensive like 80 quid expensive um, but Hook and Belle and potentially Zelina I'm not quite sure and charming maybe they're a bit more they're what they should be um but anyway i really love this anyway because like i said hook's my favorite character so that will be taking pride and joy on my shelf so i've heard that it's coming off netflix in september and i really wanted a way to watch it so i went on a website called zoom not the video call site there's another site called zoom that sells those dvds um i couldn't find the once upon a time of dvds anywhere on amazon or anything like that 
so I used this website and um, I'll link it below if anyone else is interested actually because I've never heard of it and it was a really good website it actually had some bad reviews uh, but I think that was just to do with um, coronavirus and making everything slower but for me they came in plenty of time so we have got all the seasons but we have got the box set of season one to six this is what it looks like inside and then you get all the behind the scenes stuff on it as well so the reason why i got just one to six in the box set is because i wanted regina the evil queen on the front um and if you got the series seven box set so one to seven you got um just cinder on the front which i just thought they could have put a better character on she was only in one of the seasons um so i didn't want that kind of on a box set so then i got the season seven dvd separately which is just this one here so yeah that would have been the picture on the box set which I don't know, I wouldn't really have wanted. So we've got them separate. So yeah, so when it goes off Netflix, I will be switching to this. And also, like I said, I get to see all the behind the scenes stuff on here as well. So that's really cool. I'm also starting to get into reading. I'm now on the second Harry Potter book, The Chamber of Secrets. Second book I've read during lockdown, which I know still isn't a lot, but I've been busy. Um, but yeah, so I'm really getting back into reading. And they do Once Upon a Time books. I believe it's not by someone associated with the show. But it has become official, I think. Oh, here we go. Based on the television series. I'm entirely sure, but give them a check out. So there's a few in the series, uh, but I got two of them. So Reawakened, which is based on series one, I believe. And then Regina Rising, which is, I think it's about the stuff that we didn't see of Regina. I might be wrong, but I can tell you more once I've read them. So yeah, really happy to have them. And I think there's two other ones in the series. I think there's one about Henry and Violet, and then there's one about... Oh, red. Then I also got a Once Upon a Time quiz book. But all these stuff is from Amazon, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I've got Once Upon a Time trivia book. It is very, very thin and I've not looked at it yet. So, I want to rewatch the series for a second time to get a bit more knowledge. And then we'll do this little quiz book. What I've got on the themes of quizzes, I also got a Harry Potter quiz book, which we did some of last night. And I was pretty impressed about how good I was, you know. It's an unofficial one, but, I mean, I thought it was really good. It had some good questions in. And there's loads of that one. Then I also got, because you can't tell, I do love quizzes and I love games, um, a top trivia film and television, a thousand questions. This is really good again. We played it yesterday. Very good. Those are just different trivia questions. And then something called guest list, which if you've got the games, tension... Um, who wants to, no not who wants to be a millionaire, who dares wins and articulate potentially is a bit similar. So guess this, yeah basically you get given a category and you have to, so I might say fruits, it's harder than that. And kind of you say strawberries, apple, banana, blah 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 blah. And if it's on the card you get the point basically. Um, so yeah, a really good game. And chocolates, um, four pots of chocolates, I do love chocolates. I got some Thornton's Classic and I've also realised that they've, slightly changed some of the recipes made them look a bit fancier and then i got a dvd which is johnny english strikes again we were actually going to see this when it was out it was out around christmas time but we never got around to seeing it so there we go i can see it now and i do still watch dvds as well i've got a whole collection behind me oh also from my sister i forgot to mention i knew there was something else i got a harry potter chocolate frog i think this is the third one she's got me it's just dropped on floor and then inside it the chocolate frog was very nice i bet that you get a card and i've got salazar sliver in i d have actually got this one already so now we've got two of them but that's okay it's all about chance and it's one of four so there we go i got a 2021 diary because i get a july to july diary i can successfully say that i don't think i wrote once in my diary last year and um, so i will do that and this actually will help me plan with youtube videos so i can put kind of like a formal schedule so this is going to be really helpful for that as well with youtube videos i'm um, a really lovely notebook which i'm going to use to put down all my ideas and for all the zoom quizzes i'm doing because I have not used paper for a long time until a few months ago and I'm running out because I was using like all my A-level supplies that I never used up a few years ago. Um, so now I've got this. The last few bits I've got um, are all to kind of do with like bath and stuff. So I've got two of these uh, super drug shower gels which I love and it's a coconut one and a cherry and almond one. Both smell lovely and I've got loads of their other scents as well and they're really nice. Then I also got some bath bombs which I believe these are from Asda and spa, raspberry and pomegranate and mango and passion fruit can't wait to use these this one smells especially lovely finally i got another face mask which is the garnier moisture bomb tissue mask in chamomile i love these i actually used one of these um on the night before my birthday i've got quite a few sheet masks 
I know sheet masks aren't the best in the environment, but for my skin, we all know I've got very problematic skin. Um, these do work the best, and yeah, they really do hydrate your face. That was what I got, so thank you so much to everyone who made my birthday at home special and wished me a happy birthday, got me presents, got me cards, and everything. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and stick around to see more. Um, I have, this is my fourth video I've uploaded now, so back into the series, it's going to be three a week. Um, 5 p.m. one on Wednesday, one on Friday, and one on Sunday. So yeah, please stick around to see more. I've also got my Instagram and TikTok below if you want to um, check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.